Blitz! Good morning, chicos and dear Blood War Anime Cur 3 spoilers finally, ladies and gentlemen. Information about the extra scenes, spoilers about the Cur 3, the season 3, yes! Tide Kubo just revealed the name of the episode 32 of the anime, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the Holy Newborn. That is the same name that have the manga episode 626. So it's based directly on a manga episode. And remember that the Cur 2 was over on the episode 26. So episode 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and probably 32 to six anime episodes gonna cover only 16 manga chapters because the Kur 2 was over on the manga episode 609 just when Ichibe defeat you Habaha like an ant and the Kur 2 the season 2 just finished with the victory of Ichibe but this information is crazy because means that six anime episodes gonna cover only 16 manga episodes and that is a fucking madness guys normally one anime episode of the bleach adapt between three or five manga episodes so the six anime episodes between 27 and 32 at least should cover minimum 18 manga chapters because it's six per three, 18 at least minimum because three manga chapters in one anime episode just happen few times. Normally are four, five and between three and five normally. So this means extra scenes guaranteed for that six initial chapters of the core three, ladies and gentlemen. And maybe not one extra scene, maybe two, three, four could be a lot of day because it's just 16 manga chapters to add that in six anime episodes it's fucking crazy and i will share with you which extra scenes could be potentially happen and also what gonna happen at the start of the season three on that 16 manga episodes what gonna happen what we will see on the initial six episodes of the core three and which could be the potentially extra scenes to add it this is what we're gonna discuss here today because i am very very excited with that news could be super crazy extra scenes could be jugram could be oh it's unimaya bankai hopefully please 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 i wish this is like a dream, could be Yuhabaha extra scenes, likely and potentially some Yuhabaha extra scenes returning to defeat Ichibe, and also maybe bring new power to stand writers or something, could be also Ichigo extra scenes, maybe related with the Ichigo Almighty Eyes or something, and potentially could be, and potentially what makes more sense and probably gonna be, gonna be Jushiro Kitake extra scenes related with the Mimihagi, maybe related with Shunsui, because Shunsui gonna go to see Aizen, so maybe could be Aizen extra scenes too, Aizen extra scenes, Mimihagi extra scenes from Ukitake, and probably Uryu versus Senjumaru, because remember the Squad Zero is completely alive, Senjumaru destroyed the Stand Writers and Uryu with the Bankai, and on the manga, after Yuhabaha defeat Ichibe, the Squad Zero is defeated, was defeated, we will go to the manga and check directly which content are on the initial 16 episodes of the manga that gonna be adapted on the 6 anime episodes, the starting ones from the Kur 3, we will check that, but personally, I already know the Bleach story, the manga, I already read it, tons of time, so personally I think that the extra scene is gonna be Ukitake, Mini Hagi extra scenes 100%, Aizen extra scenes 100%, Aizen retarded is gonna be a fucking blast, so probably Shunsui extra scenes related with Aizen and maybe with Mimi Hagi, not sure about it, and then the other one that is potentially unlikely gonna be there, it's Uryu and Senjumaru, Stand Writers and a Squad Zero battle, one battle between day, and probably Uryu gonna shine there, probably defeating Senjumaru, but could be other Stand Writers and other Squad Zero members making good job, maybe it's Bankai, but let me look about it. Hopefully it's like a dream. I wish and I hope, but let me look. And then maybe it could be Yuhabahan, maybe it could be Ichigo Almighty as scenes, probably because the main antagonist and the main character of the series makes sense that gonna have some extra scene. And also we have the content with the Almighty Eyes and all the stuff. So that's my opinion. What could be the potentially extra scenes on that core three initial chapters? But let's go into the manga and let's discover what happened exactly on that initial 16 chapters of the manga that gonna be adapted on that six initial chapters of the core three. And then when we discover that, gonna make sense what I share with you and which kind of extra scenes we can show and check directly which content are on the initial 16 episodes of the manga that gonna be adapted on the six anime episodes, the starting ones from the core three. So let's start with the end of the season two, the core two, that is the manga episode 609 and it's when Ichibe defeats Yuhabaha. So from that episode gonna be 16 more episodes of the manga till the episode 626 that is named at the Holy Newborn and it's the same name that's gonna have the anime episode 32. So we're gonna check what happens on the manga till the episode 626 to discover which scenes we're gonna have on that six episodes from 27 till 32 that is named at also the Holy Newborn and for that which extra scenes could potentially be there. So directly going at the end of the season 2 when Ichibe defeats Yuhabaha, it's super fast what happened on the manga that directly Yuhabaha opened the eyes, say that I just not opened the eyes and 
and when open the almighty eyes just defeat Ichibei in one second very very quick it's so 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 fast and appears the almighty Yuhabaha that this is gonna be amazing man I can wait to see that scene and as I said then defeats Ichibe very very quick we have here Jugra Manuryu some scenes of day but that scenes could not happen exactly on the same way because remember that on the manga Jugra Manuryu are defeated by Senjumaru so I suppose that when Yuhabaha gonna awake the almighty and make the almighty maybe before Almighty or just during the Almighty, the stand writers and Uryu and the Jugram and all the top Quincy army gonna wake and probably Uryu or some other stand writers gonna defeat Senjumaru to have some kind of data scenes and conversations when Yuhabaha makes the Almighty or just when released the Almighty. So it's potentially an extra scene just to start the season 3. The Uryu extra scene, the Senjumaru extra scene and the Squad Zero extra scene could likely happen just at the start of the season 3. When Yuhabaha makes the Almighty, that should be just at the start of the season 3 because it's directly the end of the episode 609 of the manga, that is when literally ends the season 2. Just when Ichibe defeats Yuhabaha, it's episode 609 of the manga and at the end of that episode, Yuhabaha awakes the Almighty and then the stand writer's conversation that should have a previous extra scene, so maybe the Kur 3 could start directly with an extra scene of Uryu Senjumaru or Yuhabaha. Then, very quick, the Almighty Iwatch defeats Ichibe very quick at the start of the episode 610. Ichibe makes the super technique, but it's super useless because Yuhabaha defeats Ichibe like nothing. Wow, 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 Yuhabaha! That panel is gonna be amazing. And just Ichibe is defeated at the end of the episode 610. And at the start of the episode 611, you see the head of Ichibe on the ground, so Ichibe is death. And also, you saw the Squad Zero defeated here after the Ichibe battle is over. You saw the Squad Zero completely defeated, so this could be interesting because this is a must that we're gonna have some previous extra scene before to be here. Because on the currently anime, at the end of the season 2, the Squad Zero with Senjumaru Bankai and the sacrifice of the other Squad Zero defeated the Stand Riders and the Uryu. So, at least, at minimum, the Stand Riders or Uryu should defeat Senjumaru to reach that point of the original manga. And this means 100% an extra scene about the Stand Riders versus the Squad Zero or Uryu versus Senjumaru. And then during the episode 611, the Royal Palace starts having issues because Yuhabaha gonna go to the Spirit King, the Reo. We saw some scene about Ichigo and the friends with Yoruichi, Chat, Orihime Boba and everything arriving to the Royal Palace. Then Ichigo feels like a strange, where is Ichibe, where is Ichibe, and says the name of Ichibe. When says the name of Ichibe, Ichibe just reborn, because Ichibe just needs that somebody says the name and PAM reborn. It's not simple like that, it's from the powers of Ichibe and I suppose that's gonna be properly explained here, but yeah. At the end, when Ichigo says the Ichibe name, Ichibe reborn and says that he cannot defeat Yuhabaha, so Ichigo please go and defeat Yuhabaha protect the Reo, the spiritual king. And then at the end of the 611, we saw how Yuhabaha just reached the soul king and says the farewell with the soul king with the blade of the Quincy's. Also with that episode 611, the end of that, we finish the book 67 of Bleach, so let's move to the next one and continue with the book 68 that start with the episode 612. We start that episode and that book with Yuhabaha reaching the Soul King, speaking about the future, defeating the Soul King, putting the sword in the Soul King, and then we jump to the Soul Society directly after the Soul King being defeated, we jump directly to the Soul Society, see the several captains and Soul Reapers speaking the situation, so Phone, Renji, Shinji, Rukia, Kisuke, we reach here and saw Kisuke, so Ichi, the brother of Yoruichi, Byakuya, and several captains with Kisuke speaking, and Kisuke says that Yuhabaha is going for the Soul King, gonna break the royal palace and gonna make bad things because Kisuke knows everything. So we need to put all captains together, we need to put the Max Rayatsu together, and with that story we finish the episode 612, we start the next one, 613, with Ichibe speaking with Ichigo, it's just some conversation about Yuhabaha, and we move again to the Soul Reapers, appears Jushiro Ukitake, that's gonna be key on the next episodes guys, Ukitake extra scene guaranteed, appears Zaraki Kenpachi too after the battle with the Bambis and everything, then is a conversation between the Soul Reapers, the Captains, Kisuke and everything, and we move again to the Royal Palace, and Ichigo and the friends arrive here with Ganju and Yoruichi, so there we go, at the end of the episode 613, it's the encounter on the Royal Palace on the Soul King room between Ichigo and Yuhabaha starts the episode 614 and after some wars between Ichigo and Yuhabaha just move 
to the visors. We saw Hiyori arriving where Shinji is with some special items and some special mission that Kisuke give to the visors, Hiyori, Hachi, Love and Lisa. Happy to see a sexy Lisa here. Then we have a small conversation between the visors and everything, speaking about Rose and Kensei, the situation about the Soul Reapers. The conversation between the captains continues, Soifon, Jushiro, Kenpachi. And the conclusion of the conversation is cool, it's that we just need to win. Zaraki says, okay, we just need to go and win, so there we go. Kisuke says, yeah, so all together go to defeat you, Habaha, let's go. The last fucking arc, the last fucking Bankai's battle, man, I can't wait to see all the battles between the captains and the stand writers, for real. Then, episode 614, we move to the conversation between Yuhabaha and Ichigo. We saw the Soul King with the sword and everything. Ichigo tries to save the Soul King, but when takes off the sword of the Soul King, so save the Soul King, some blood bend, some Quincy happens on the Ichigo arm, and then Ichigo just slides the Soul King for the half, so yeah! I suppose that here could be some extra scene explaining better what happened with the Ichigo body, with the Yuhabaha or Quincy powers and everything, why Ichigo puts the Soul King. I suppose that here gonna be a deep extra scene explaining that and maybe something could happen with the Ichigo Almighty Ace or something. Then with that scene starts the panic, starts the destruction of the Soul Society and the wall being collapsed because the Soul King was scooted by the half for Ichigo Kurosaki. After a small conversation between Ichigo and Yuhabaha, Ichigo just jumped to the Iwatch and start a battle between Ichigo and Iwatch here, Almighty Yuhabaha versus the Trushika Ichigo. But at the same time, the Soul Society and everything, the wall, it's collapsing, so it starts happening some shit here in the Soul Society. Look the Kisuke face, man, saying the Reo is dead! So the old faces of the captains and everything go scared crazy and the Mimi Hagi Take time is coming like and fucking wait that scenes man. I expect and I suppose that the battle between Ichigo and Yuhabaha Almighty, the first battle, the first encounter gonna be really cool. Also we have here Yoruichi, Orihime and all the others that gonna try to help. Orihime try to reborn, try to heal the Reo but cannot do it. And at the end of the episode 615 we saw an amazing Ukitake face. Suddenly Ukitake face face. Then start the episode 616 with Yuhabaha laughing so much and the others on desperation, the wall starts collapsing, the full wall, the band of rage, the rancor, the soul society, everything, the wall is collapsing. And then it's time guys, when the wall is collapsing, the mission of the Jushi Okitake and the Mimikagi starts here. Okitake says, I'm gonna replace the Reo, the soul king. And then Ukitake activates, turn on the Mimihagi powers and starts the Ukitake story that sacrificed himself to try to replace the Soul King and the wall don't gonna collapse, don't gonna be destroyed. So we here see the Mimihagi-sama, the episode 616, I'm guaranteed and I'm 100% sure that here we're gonna have extra scenes, better explanation about the Mimihagi, about Ukitake, about what happened that, how happened that and everything. Because on the manga is really cool, but in my opinion is not very very well explained that could be better with more details and be more emotional. Here we have the explanation and the resolution of Ukitake, the several life of Ukitake and the mission and all. So Ukitake just gonna sacrifice himself to try to replace the Soul King and the wall don't gonna collapse. At the same time when we saw that, that is like the Ukitake sacrifice here, like the Ukitake death, on the manga we move in a conversation that is just in the dark. In the maximum dark we have a conversation from Shunsui, the Shunsui boy saying something very interesting to Aizen-sama. So at the end of the episode 616 starts the conversation between Shunsui and Aizen. So at the same time that Ukitake is making the Mimi Hagi, that is episode 616 and 17, the sacrifice of Ukitake to try to save the wall, is happening at the same time the conversation between Shunsui and Aizen that is potentially another big extra scene about Aizen-sama. Keep on mind. But then we move to the royal palace again and we saw the Ukitake Mimihagi Han that is trying to save the Soul King, that is like catching the Soul King and Yuhabaha says what's that, what is happening? At the same time we saw Ukitake super brutal scene, like Ukitake is like death, Ukitake body is suffering so much, I mean this is really hard. 
during that we have a, a small Kisuke speech about what we can do and what is happening, so let's go and try to move to the royal palace, let's try to do something, here we go. And with that we move to Shunsui, the conversation with Aizen, that is explaining that it's on the Muken with the several keys of the Aizen prison. During that, the doors and what is happening with the Soul Reapers crash appears Mayuri, so it's time to Mayuri and Kisuke to start working together to make new doors and connect with Yuhabaha, try to save the Soul King, move to the Royal Palace. We keep in a parallel, switching a scenes between the Captain's conversation and the Shunsui and Aizen conversation. At the end of the episode 617, an Aizen foot is here. Aizen and he's fucking here, man. I can't wait to listen. I said, Summer for real. This is gonna be Kur 3. Maybe episode 3, maybe episode 4, something like that. The Aizen return, guys. And Aizen is free, is without the chair. It's just here on the MOOC and walking. That is fucking amazing, man. I expect and I wish so much extra scenes related with that, hopefully. Then is the conversation between Shunsui and Aizen. It's just not only Shunsui speaking, it's now Aizen saying tons of things. Aizen words and Aizen literally trying to scare Shunsui or trying to manipulate Shunsui. Then Shunsui says that, no, the other keys are inside of me, so you're gonna try to fight me and my Bankai, baby. <laughs> so it's really cool conversation between Aizen and Shunsui. Shunsui says, okay, Aizen, we need your help because the Soul Society is ruined, we need your power. Please sit on the chair and we're gonna go out of the prison if you help us. Then the conversation continues. We saw Aizen slashing some of the guards because some guards just try to catch Aizen. Aizen wars and everything, but the conclusion is yes, Aizen gonna be out of here with the chair, we're gonna see chair Sama, and I really hope that during that conversation, during that chapter, that it's the Aizen and Shunsui conversation, the Aizen return of the Thousand Year Blood Warfare anime, we should have extra scenes, maybe the Aizen OST, the Aizen soundtrack that we already listened at on the conversation between Aizen and Yuhabaha, so I hope that this is gonna be crazy and marvelous, I can wait for that, Aizen go at return. Then we continue on the episode 618, by now we just saw 9 episodes of the manga and looks like we saw a lot of content and a lot of stuff, but 9 episodes of the manga normally should be as maximum 3 episodes of the anime, so at least we have 3 more episodes to cover the next 8 episodes that we're gonna read from the manga till the episode 626, that is the Holy Newborn, that is the episode 32 of the anime that we saw before that Tite Kubo confirmed. So I guess that till here on the 3, 4 initial episodes of the core 3 of the anime we're gonna see probably Ukitake extra scene, maybe Ichigo extra scene and Yuhabaha extra scene with all the stuff of the Rayo and then hopefully Aizen extra scene when gonna reach the Aizen time, maybe around episode 4 of the core 3, maybe episode 5 if they had a lot of extra scenes at the beginning. Also don't forget the Uryu vs Senjumaru extra scene that probably the core 3 gonna start with that or maybe 2 minutes and start that battle so can't wait man for all of that extra scenes. Also remember to leave me your opinion in a comment, we are more or less on the half of the manga content that we have to check for that initial episode of the Kur 3, so let me know your opinion, what do you think about that extra scenes or what other kind of extra scenes we could show at the start of the season 3 of the anime. Then let's continue, episode 618, we saw the Yuhabaha battle between Ichigo, Ichigo trying to defeat Yuhabaha Almighty, Yoruichi and the other Nakamas of Ichigo trying to save the spiritual king, the Reo, while Ichigo is screaming, conversating and fighting Yuhabaha, I can wait man, that gets to get Tensho on the royal palace and the conversation with the Ichigo screams and Yuhabaha boys is fucking amazing. So that's gonna be so exciting, it's episode 618 and it's literally between Ichigo and Yuhabaha. Then let's continue with the 619, the same conversation between the two gods, Yuhabaha and the boys here are gonna be crazy screaming so much with the almighty four men, I fucking can't wait. For real, Fwah. a lot of you have a cool scenes. Then Ichigo just go again, Urusai, and charge again versus Yuhabaha. But Yuhabaha keeps speaking and speaking and speaking, making desperation for Ichigo, and then appears more desperation because appears a Quincy arrow that impacts to Yoruichi Sama. A lot of faces surprised and Uryu attacks Yoruichi Sama. What the fuck are you doing, you stupid Ishida? Yoruichi, no Yoruichi, no Orihime. Attack Ganju, attack Ichigo, but not Yoruichi, fool! But from the Uryu attack, what Yoruichi was doing was distracted, so Uryu helped the Quincy army and helped to not save the Soul King, but is what Yoruichi was trying to to do. Ichigo screaming to Ishida, but Yuhabaha take the chance and attack Ichigo and then move to the Soul King, but Yoruichi tries to save the Soul King, Yoruichi attacks Yuhabaha, but Pernida appears after Yoruichi and no, no, the Yoruichi are my god, man, Pernida mother tracker. 
but yeah. Then Yukawaha just attacked Yoruichi and Yoruichi is out of the royal palace, so Yoruichi tried and he did a good job, but Pernida ruins the Yoruichi plans. Ichigo attack again Yukawaha, but Uryu again attacks Ichigo on the timing. And then Yukawaha just takes the Soul King, absorbs the Soul King and starts the madness So Uryu. You are a bad guy or what the fuck, man? I already know what happened at the end of the manga with Uryu and everything, but at this moment Uryu really looks like a bad guy because thanks for Uryu, Yukawaha was able to destroy properly the Soul King and all the stuff. So what the fuck are you doing, Uryu? Probably Iwatch should did it the same without Uryu, but Uryu looks like the bad guy here. Then we have the Uryu Betray, here versus Ichigo and everything, the chapter 620 of the manga, where do you stand? It's the Ichigo surprise and Uryu attacking Ichigo and the Nakamas, the conversation between Uryu and Ichigo, Ichigo is just like what the fuck is happening, I not understand man what what, Ichigo screaming so much, the Uryu conversation saying that he's a Quincy and all, then arrives the others 10 writers here, Lil, Asking and Jerer, so what are you gonna do, chat? <laughs> Uryu continue with the attack to Ichigo and all the guys and then it's like Uryu make an attack that broke the ground and Ichigo and all the friends just go down, like fall to the royal palace. It's a way to save it to Ichigo and not everything fights versus Lil Barro and all the other 10 writers that are gonna be completely annihilated here. So Uryu it's saving day and Lil Barro it's like I'm gonna finish here now but Uryu says stops because they're gonna death if they fall from here from the royal palace so it's enough. Then on this situation Uryu it's like he wins the recognize, he wins a, a bond with the other 10 writers and he watch because he helped the Yuhabaha plan to destroy the Soul King, he goes against Ichigo and the friends and everything, and the stand writers and Yuhabaha recognize Uryu here. Then after that resolution on the Royal Palace, like the stand writers and Yuhabaha absorb the Soul King and defeated the Soul Reapers, they are on the Royal Palace and the Soul Reapers just go out, Yuhabaha starts absorbing completely the Soul King, and then the wall it's literally starts crashing on black from the Royal Palace, we saw a black arrow and the Soul Society and the walls starts crashing, Ukitake just splash like an explosion, I guess that here is the Ukitake death, literally, feels like Ukitake just saved the wall to crash during some moments and now the crash continue, the previous one, the Soul Society skies is completely in black and then between 621 and 622, it's when Yuhabaha is absorbing the Soul King. Here it's the final evolution of the Yuhabaha, final almighty form after absorbing the Soul King and everything. So here it's when I start moving the Yuhabaha eyes and all to the down to the Soul Society and different captains try to stop it. So if one is trying to use it the Bankai or Maeda and they try to defeat that ice that drops from Yuhabaha from the Soul King Palace. We saw Byakuya and the other Soul Reapers like Rukia trying to defeat it but in one second the ice got completely blasted destroyed for some immense Reiatsu and one voice appears. That ice and just destroyed all that ice at one time with my Reiatsu was easy. We have here an amazing ice and appear at the end of the episode 621 and the start of 622. That is Aizen on the chair with an immense Reiatsu destroying all that ice that drops from the royal palace, from that strange you watch power. Then we have a slight conversation between Rukia and Aizen that says you should be on the MOOC and Rukia is angry and a lot of Soul Reapers are angry, makes sense. But appears Shunsui to say what is happening and explain. It's a conversation between the Soul Reapers and Shunsui explaining the reasons behind it. And just during that conversation, the black sky, the black ice goes down to the Royal Palace again, like an immense amount of black ice, like Rukia. What are we gonna do when we are dead? No, because Aizen Sama is here. So Aizen Sama just, wow, makes another super good scene, Shunsui. Counts with Aizen because that situation it's crazy. If Aizen not do anything, Aizen gonna receive damage too. So Shunsui is a very good negotiator, and Aizen here we saw finally the peers of Aizen men at the episode 622. Hadono Kyuji, Kurohitsugi, and with that immense Kurohitsugi supremacy page and Aizen face, guys. Fwah. I can't wait to see that man, the faces of the captains and everything. Aizen fucking god. 
And that's the manga chapter 622, that is the Eisen Return of the Manga. So I suppose that that's gonna happen during episode 5 or 6 of the anime. I suppose that's gonna be 5, not 6, because episode 6 should be the last part, the last chapters that we should check right now. So my supposition is between episode 4 and 5 gonna be the Eisen Return, the Eisen Start Conversation on the Muken, and the Eisen Hado no Kyuji, Hado 90, Kurohitsugi. Then with that Hado, Aizen saves the Soul Society, the situation from the Yuhabaha strange eyes attack. And then we have some amazing words of Aizen here to finish the book and to finish the chapter. It's the end of the episode of Manga 622 and the end of the book 68, we move to the next one with that amazing Aizen word saying that, well, I maybe should just move the royal palace still here with my power and make that day come here if you need to speak with Yuhabaha. I mean, it's Aizen God, that pages and everything of Aizen, I can wait, man, for real. Aizen Return gonna be crazy with the chair and everything, fucking hype. And then I start the next book, the 69, with the episode 623, that Aizen is using the immense Reiatsu to try to move down the royal palace, so literally he is dying, and he is using, activating an immense Reiatsu. All the soul society is being trembling and feeling that Reiatsu, but something happened, and the Reiatsu of Aizen disappears, because the Aizen power is limited for the chair, and Shunsui says, you know, I told you, your power is limited for the chair, Aizen is like, well, okay. Then appears Mayuri to speak here, because Mayuri made it the chair, and it's who created the seals of the chair that contains the Aizen power and everything. Mayuri here speaking with Aizen, gonna be a very cool scene. And then during that conversation appears Nanana, the Quincy, that was previously defeated, and attacks Aizen. Here with some Quincy attack appears also Basbi, and the other Bambis, we can see Giselle and Lil Toto, the ones that was there and not there from the Aushuwalan. And the ancient suite says, yo, hello! <laughs> Episode 623, the conversation between the Soul Reapers and the Quincy's. That situation is amazing. Basby directly attacks, I guess that kills Nanana here, because Basby wished to help the Soul Reapers to defeat Yuhabaha, because they are angry after what Yuhabaha made it today, so they wish to defeat it. The Yuhabaha, and here is the resolution of the Basbi and the Bambis defeating Nanana to finish the episode 623. Then at the start of the 624, Aizen just awake after the Nanana attack and everything, and it's a small conversation between Shunsui and Aizen that continues in a conversation between the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers. Aizen saying that the Shinigamis and the Quincy's gonna work together to try to save the Soul Society because they have a common enemy that is Yuhabaha. And all of that happens during the 624, and after that conversation between Aizen and Shunsui, we saw Ichigo Kurosaki, that is awakened from a super sexy Yoruichi attack, we saw amazing panel of Yoruichi, hopefully they can add that panels of Yoruichi and so sexy Yoruichi during the Thousand Year World Warfare arc. Ichigo remembers what happened with Ishida and everything, that they fall from the Royal Palace. Ichigo remembers what happened. During that scene also we have another appearance of the giant con, so I can wait for that. I like con so much, it's very funny. We have a lot of Yoruichi scenes and conversations, so hopefully gonna be nice Yoruichi sexy scenes. And then Yoruichi opens a garganta, after that conversation opens a garganta and appears Grimjo. Hurra! Finally Grimjo appearance in the Thousand Year Blood War for our guys at the end of the episode. 624, Grinjo appears here, yo, with an amazing pages, wow, we can see finally Thousand Year World War for design for Grinjo, I can wait for that, man, I love this character, it's very funny, Grinjo is back here, but he's not alone, it's with Neliel that just jumps to Ichigo, yes, Neliel Chuan is here, that is very broken too, we saw Orihime like, uy, 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 Kurosaki-kun, and then it's a small conversation between Grinjo and Orihime, appears also the other humans, Riruka, Yukio, and the other execution members that are collaborating all of day from Kisuke and Yoruichi, execution and arrancas with Ichigo and all to go versus Yuhabaha versus a common enemy that is destroying the wall. Also, they explain the plan that they are using between the Yukio powers and the Garganta to make the teleportations from the Weko Mundo and everything. And Yoruichi says that we're gonna defeat day at the same time, one for one time, all of day. Let's go. With that scene, we changed to a royal palace and we saw a conversation of the stand writers, Gerard, asking Lil Barro, Uryu, all of them here speaking, waiting that Yuhabaha finish the final observation of the spiritual king. And this is the end of the episode 625. The 626 starts after that stand writer conversation, after that Yuhabaha finished the last observation of the soul king. 
And here it starts the episode 626 that I suppose that this is gonna happen on the episode 32 of the anime because have the same name. So it should happen the scenes of that episode, maybe one more chapter or two more chapters, but at least till here. So let's see what gonna happen. Continue the conversation from Yoruichi and Ichigo and the travel that they are doing with the Yukio powers, with Riruka and everything. Green Joe also is here, it's a cool conversation between all of them, Ichigo smiles, so that's a very cool start of the episode, a very cool conversation. And then we move to Jugram, to the royal palace. Jugram says that it's over, the spiritual king is over, a new wall is here, Yuhabaha finished the observation, and here we saw the face of the final form of Yuhabaha Almighty after the observation, Jesus Christ, I can't wait, man, to see that scene. I saw that scene on that panel tons of times during my life. I'm really super excited to see that scene animated. Then the faces of the different stunt writers, several fear men, several crazy and madness face desperation. Wow, the almighty supremacy. Then the royal palace, it's like crashing. The stunt writers are very, very surprised, but Jugram just moves in front of Iwaj and says, Show us the path, Heka, Majesty. I can wait to see that since Jesus Christ. This is the end of the episode 626. It's just when Yuhabaha wakes the full almighty form and Jugram's moving in front of day. This is literally the end of the episode 626. If we continue a few more on the 627, that maybe could be inside of the episode of 32 of the anime. We saw Ichigo and Yoruichi, all the team, that it are close to arrive to the royal palace, so the last battle is close to start. We saw emotional scene, face of Riruka with Ichigo conversation and all. So that's a cool conversation to start the chapter. But continue with the destruction of everything after the Yuhabaha almighty form. All it's crashing. So let's go, the battle must start. But at the same time, the captains are ready and have a portal ready to move to the royal palace. And also at the same time, Ichigo and the Yoruichi friends army arrive to the royal palace. So there we go, we are ready. The last battle gonna start, guys. Here an amazing marvelous panel of Ichigo saying the, the Bandar Rage City. But it's not the Bandar Rage City, it's the royal palace that Yuhabaha just transformed all the royal palace that looks like a Bandar Rage City. So I can wait to see that Bandar Rage City and that battles, man. Here with the Bandar Rage City, it's the end of the episode 627. So maybe the chapter could finish here, looking the Bandar Rage City and before that the battle's gonna start. Or maybe could add the starting scenes of the episode 628, that is Shinji and the other captains arriving here and being surprised for the same, for the Bandar Rage City, in the place of the Royal Palace. So maybe the episode 32 can reach till here and saw that scene, that amazing scene of the Royal Palace, that it's now turned in a Quincy Cross Bandar Rage wall, so hopefully it could be the end of the chapter with that, it should be really cool. Then the episode 628 continue with different conversation of the Soul Reapers and they start moving from the Bandar Rage place, the new royal palace, and they try to encounter and defeat the Quincy's. Here it's the start of the war to say in some way. Also when all the Soul Reapers are convinced like here we go, something happens and appears like a palace on the middle, like the royal palace of the Bandar the rage that you can see here, what wow, the scene and all, man, I can't wait. There we go, the battle, the last war, it's starting. So maybe the episode 32 can finish in some points of that episode 627, 628, like the war is starting, and then on the episode 33, and next ones, we're gonna have crazy battles and crazy stuff, guys, I fucking can't wait. Kisuke Bankai, Zareki Bankai, all the stand writers battles, Jesus Christ. Well, here starts the battle and all, I guess that this is gonna be for later, not for episode 32. So I will do another video in future covering the battles and what is coming, probably on the second part of the Curve 3, and also we will see what's gonna happen on the Curve 4. I suppose that some can fear your own wall extra scenes could happen on the Curve 4, or some can fear your own wall relation as scenes could happen during the Curve 3, maybe. I suppose that's gonna be more likely for the Curve 4, because we are really in advance of the series. If we continue reading, it's already the asking battle, starting versus Grimjo and all, so the last battle's gonna start. I suppose that the Curve 3 and some part of the Curve 4 gonna be enough to adapt the last part of the manga, 
and then they can use some of the last chapters or some of the extra scenes during the chapters to add some information of Confusion World or directly just a lot of new content of Thousand Year Long Warfare, maybe new battles, maybe newer scenes, maybe change the end. I can wait, man. I really can wait that. Wow, it's amazing what is coming. The ice and return are gonna be fucking amazing. And all the what is coming, the bad guys, the battles, the changes. <laughs> we are not ready. We are not ready, guys. I am not ready. Then, after check the manga content again with you, which are the extra scenes that do you think that we could see during that initial chapters of the season 3? And you agree with me that could be Yuhabaha extra scene and Ichibe scene, maybe Ichi Almighty scene, the Mimi Hagi of Ukitake scene, Aizen scene, Anurio and Senju. Maru battle scene, Stand Riders vs Squad Zero, maybe Oetsu or Jugram extra scene on that battle. What do you think about that? This is my prediction and at least my opinion after reading the manga several times. And I think that goes on the line of the leaks that we got and all the information that we got. I'm super excited for it for real and I hope that you enjoyed that video. Sorry because it was a long one but I really wish to share my bleach passion and my bleach love and it's the way to do it, at least in my opinion. Check the manga and discover what is happening and what is coming and everything. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Remember to smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you did it, keep tuned for future news and for future videos. Because we are still Burichi and the hype is fucking real, the thousand year world war for anime is being like a dream, so keep tuned for more, when the Kurt 3 gonna come we are gonna share a lot of madness and all the news and all the stuff that is coming, so hope that you enjoy the channel and the Bleach experience, we are still Burichi, let's scream Bankai to finish the show, come on, good Bankai to finish, Seno Bankai, bye bye, sayonara. Bye-bye!